All right, I'm going to continue with my female figure. And uh, I haven't got a lot of material right now to go by as far as what uh, I would make her look like. But uh, I'll get it all figured out eventually. I'm going to try to do as much today as I can. It's been a busy Monday. I'm just blocking in her legs. It's going to be under a dress, so I really don't need a lot of heavy detail as far as the muscles go. But I do need the form of her legs under the dress. And that's what I'm doing. Now, I'm not going to show everything I do because a lot of this stuff I cover in my instructional videos and uh, if you're interested in seeing those I have a link uh, to my videos in my video description and it's a review of all nine of my instructional videos I need to expand the uh, depth of the uh, base that she's on and uh, <coughs> So I can put a uh, dress blowing in the wind. And uh, I just got to saw me a piece of wood. I'm using this uh, Japanese saw. It's probably the best saw I've ever had. And uh, I'll be back when I get this sawed through and uh, placed. All right, I've filled in between her legs because uh, the dress is going <clears> to <throat> pretty much be filled in all the way down to her, the ground, really, because it's going to be a long dress. They were a lot more modest back in the uh, 1800s. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to uh, start working on uh, the back of the dress, but I'm not going to show that because I don't want to use a lot of clay, and so I have a way of not using a lot of clay, and I show how to do that in a couple of my videos, and uh, so I'm not going to cover it here. Okay, I'm just... Uh, forming this I'm going to come back and add more wrinkles to the uh, dress this is the uh, main part of the dress that's billowing out from behind her because the uh, wind is blowing on the prairie and anybody who's been on the prairie knows there's a lot of wind I used to live in Iowa and believe me, out on the uh, flat areas of Iowa, you could get a lot of wind. Of course, they also get a lot of tornadoes, too. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to shape this a little bit and then come back. Okay. There's only about 10% of this 
add-on back here, which is actually clay. The rest is another material that I've used. And it only took a couple of minutes to do this. And uh, it's a little hack that I taught myself many years ago. And uh, I share that in my instructional videos. Okay, I'm going to do a one of the folds of the dress uh, blowing out this way. And I've just got to figure out how I'm going to do this here. I think I know how I'm going to do it. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's rough right now, but it'll it'll work out. I'm gonna try something. Ah, that's not gonna work. Gotta get a different tool. First time I tried this one. It's all sculpting is, is just basically trying different techniques for doing things. Okay, I don't think this looks like I've done much today, but it's taken a little longer than you think to get to where I am today, and uh, I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and continue this. See how far I get tomorrow. I want to see if I can find pictures of blowing dresses. I know that's probably going to be an impossible thing to do, but I'll do a search on Pinterest, uh, Google, different platforms. I wonder. I should, yeah. Now, like I said, I'm gonna come back tomorrow with fresh eyes and try to imagine what this is gonna look like and what I've got to do to make it better. All right, good night, everybody. It started. The kiss of spring. Yeah. It's getting there. It's going to be a slow process. All right. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.